All right, welcome guys. So I am pushing record so then that way you guys can pop in and check this out. So the reason I'm doing a Zoom and I hope that's okay with you guys and I will upload the link for you, but um, it's just way easier for me to show you my computer and just show you how I do everything um, with meal planning and prepping and then walk you through basically how to do that. So um, that being said, I am going to um, screen share or share my screen with you guys. Okay, so hopefully you can see my Canva um, picture. So Canva is something that is free. Um, it's just canva.com, you just sign in, it's totally free. Um, and they actually do have meal plan um, like templates that you can pop in and fill out um, if you know one of these floats your boats more than the other one. Um, I just picked this one just because of the fact that it does have my breakfast, my lunch, my snack, and my dinner. So I do tend to eat four times a day. Um, and so it just works out perfectly for me. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how to get to your um, place to get meal plans. So this is your Team Beachbody website. This will look familiar from your Beachbody On Demand. So if you guys are familiar with it, if you click on Beachbody On Demand, I wanted to show you the quick cooking show that's on here. And then I also am going to pick a program and then I'm going to kind of walk you through how to meal plan as well. Um, so if you are on here and you're scrolling through and you click on the workouts and um, you keep going through this piece of it, um, there will be uh, the cooking show with Autumn and her brother and um, basically you know what's super awesome about it is the fact that all of the recipes and everything are like super short they're 10 to 15 minutes so again here are all of your workouts okay then if we go to where is Autumn Okay, so um, I'm doing 21 day fix, by the way. So just keep that in mind. So here's just like her programs and stuff. So I would click Autumn. Um, I need to show you guys the cooking show because I promised I would do that. Okay, so um, to unlock your portion fix, that's something that I will be talking about in my in my info session, excuse me. And to be mindset, there's tons of certifications. And then here is your channel. So your Fixate channel and then Shakeology channel. So there's videos in here that you can pop in um, and get like different ideas of how to make Shakeology. Um, and then also like your cooking show that we were talking to you about before. So that is under nutrition. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back to the workouts and I'm gonna click on the program that I have been doing, which is the 21 day fix. And so when I showed you Beachbody On Demand, I talked to you about the fact that there is like workout lists, there's program materials, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started with my journey. So I'm going to click get started here. Okay, so um, as I go through here, uh, there's my workouts. Here we go. So I'm going to plug in my numbers. So if I do 160 times 11 plus 400, minus 750. I'm 1410. So I am technically in plan A. Um, if I want to, I can go up to plan B or I can stay on plan A. So um, where's my notebook? All right. So I need to write down um, my containers. And so I get four veggies. So I get four green containers. Um, then I get two purple or two fruits. I get four protein or four red. Um, I get two yellows or carbs, one blue, one orange, and three teaspoons. Okay, so the only difference between plan A and plan B is one more thing of um, fruit and then another carb and then also like more um, nuts and things. Okay, so here's just an example of just how to kind of get things set up and get them started. Uh, so like spinach, grape, shakeology, like they're just throwing in different ideas for you. Um, like what to pick, what to use. So they have breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and then dinner. So if you have two snacks, that's totally fine. Um, I actually have my snack, uh, just depends, but I usually have it um, at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. So um, if you need it in the morning, definitely plug that in um, there. But they're just trying to show you for an entire day what it actually looks like. So for breakfast, they had apples, a hard-boiled egg, um, and they also had um, cooked oatmeal. So um, that being said, like that's what 
what they had for breakfast. And then that shows you um, that the purple is, you know, their fruit that they had, the red is their protein, the yellow is their carb. Then for their snack, they had, um, they put spinach in their Shakeology with peanut butter and they had grapes. For lunch, they had a mixed salad with grilled chicken and um, quina and um, I never say it right. Is it quina? Quina? I don't freaking know. Whatever. I eat it. <laughs> um, and then dressing. And then for their snack, they had celery, raw almonds, and peanut butter. And then for dinner, they had carrots, grilled flank snake, steak, excuse me, and olive oil. So they had all of their containers in one day. Um, my thing for you guys is to keep it super basic when you are just starting out. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with lots of different recipes and those kinds of things, just keep it super basic, super simple. Okay. So if I close out of that, oops, I think it closed out of the wrong thing. I'll go back. Sorry, I have like 20 tabs open. Okay. So workouts again, 21 day fix. and nutrition program materials okay so those are tally sheets if you want to print those off and use those but i'm just used to doing like breakfast snack dinner or breakfast snack lunch snack dinner and just like used to doing that totally up to you there's your workout calendar here's the food list this is the nutrition list that i was telling you about so what I did when I first started is I went through each of these lists. So I went through green, I went through purple, red, yellow, blue, orange, teaspoons. I wrote down what I love to eat, what I love to have. And from the top to the bottom is like most nutritious to like least nutritious. So um, for green containers, for an example, I have spinach in my Shakeology because I don't taste it. I actually do like broccoli, just not cooked. Asparagus baked is very good. Um, tomatoes chopped up in like a salad is okay. Otherwise, I don't like tomatoes. Um, let's see. What else is in here? String beans are okay if they're cooked. Um, let's see. Peppers. I love, love, love red and green peppers. Um, bell peppers, by the way. <laughs> Um, let's see, cauliflower, no thanks, eggplant. I don't think I've ever had that. Snow peas, those are pretty good. Cucumbers, I have those in a salad or on a sandwich sometimes. Celery, obviously, is like a no-brainer. Um, if you do have lettuce, just make sure it's not icebergs. It doesn't have any nutritional value in it. Um, salsa, <laughs> love that option. Okay, so those would be my greens that I do like. So I would like write those down or have those in my mind. So when I'm making my food list and I need four greens per day, um, I would take what I want out of there and I would like move it around and stuff. So purple, red, yellow, blue, orange, etc. cetera. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to toggle back and forth um, with my computer. So I hope that's okay. I hope it doesn't like bother you guys too much. Um, so here's my meal plan. So for breakfast, I'm just going to, it was already filled out. So I'm just going to take it all out and make it 21 day fix approved. And then once I finish this, you guys, I will share this with you. Um, because like, why wouldn't we do that? Okay. So first things first, um, breakfast. So I honestly would say that um, Shakeology is probably one of the easiest things to have for breakfast, like the easiest thing, um, just because of the fact that you can make it really quick, um, and then take it like on the go with you. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to put in here Shakeology. So that is considered a red. And so, um, I'm going to just write, keep a tally for myself. So that's one red. Um, in my Shakeology, I have eight ounces of almond milk. If you put eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk, it just counts as a teaspoon um, in your Shakeology. I always add spinach in my Shakeology, so that would be a green spinach. And then I do always add a fruit. So like strawberries, so that would be a purple, okay? So here's my little list. So I have already done a green, a purple, a red, and then a teaspoon, just for breakfast, okay? All right. Okay, then we have lunch. Why are these so, these are all so big. I need like smaller text. Let me pick a smaller one. It's still not small. All right, we'll just go with it. 
Okay. So then um, for lunch, so I actually don't get a very big lunch at school. Um, so I actually, if I have a time for breakfast, I have my Shakeology for lunch, but in this case, most of you probably have time for lunch. So let's do something like good. Um, so let's do, um, we'll just do spinach for like a salad. Um, and let's do uh, ground beef. So we're gonna make tacos. Um, and cheese, we'll have that, and um, we could do peppers in there. Um, what else do you put in there? You could do an avocado, you could do, or like part of an avocado. You could put salsa in there if you want to. Um, I'll just put that down. So spinach, ground beef, cheese, peppers, salsa, um, tomatoes if you wanted to, like just t like tons of different things. I'm just not very like crafty when it comes to um salads I'm such a boring eater you guys <laughs> you're gonna be like oh my gosh okay so um spinach or ground beef obviously is a red okay so what I do is I get um 93.7 ground beef and I actually put it in like a stove top in water boil it and then I drain all of the um grease and stuff because it does hurt my stomach um, cheese, I'm actually going to use just half of it. So I would use half of a blue because blue um, is your dairy. And the reason I'm doing that is in case I want it for later on during the day. Um, so you will notice a very big deficit in your dairy. And that's because that's what's like holding all of that stuff in your body. Um, spinach is a green, obviously. So I would put in one green container of spinach. If I want to, I'd put in two. Or maybe I'll do spinach and then romaine and like toss them up together for like a spring thing. And if I did like peppers and salsa, um, you can measure out salsa. I probably would just put a little bit of salsa in mine. So it's really not that much. Um, but peppers, it'll show you like half of a pepper or whatever. So you can have that cut up already. Um, so I'm just going to say that I put in two greens into my salad, um, whether it's spinach and romaine, whether it's peppers or the added in salsa, um, so then right now I'm sitting at three greens, one purple, um, two reds, and then half a blue and a teaspoon um, so far, okay? Uh, then my snacks. So I tend to have two snacks a day if I need it. So I'm actually going to just put number one and then number two, just because um, if I'm being completely honest, sometimes I have to So then, sorry, it's just like messing with all this stuff first. Okay. So um, what's super easy at school is apple and peanut butter, like beyond simple. So that would be a purple and a teaspoon. Purple, teaspoon, done. Um, so I'm all out of purples because I already used that. So I'm actually going to put yogurt and granola. So that would be a red because yogurt is actually a red. It's a protein and granola would be a yellow. All right. Okay. So Shakeology, spinach, strawberry for breakfast, lunch. I'm having actual food. I'm having my first snack maybe in the morning, um, yogurt and granola. Maybe I have my apple and peanut butter instead. Whatever's easiest for you. Have your lunch. Have your second snack. Then for dinner, here is what I have left. So this is what I always do. Um, and then I tell Aaron, like, what do I have left for supper? I have a green, okay? I have um, a red left. I have a yellow left. I have half of a blue left. I have an orange left and I have a teaspoon left, okay? So what does that look like for supper? That could be like chicken, rice, and vegetables. That could be um, your burrito bowls. That could be your taco salad if you don't want it for lunch. That could be enchiladas. Like it could literally be anything. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll just put um, chicken, rice, veggie, stir fry. It's good. I love it. It's so good. Okay. So the chicken is obviously your going to be your red. Um, and then your, sorry, I can't multitask. <laughs> if you couldn't talk. Okay. So chicken is your red rice would be a yellow. Um, and then your veggie, like veggies obviously would be a green. So green, red, 
yellow. So what I have left is half of a blue, which is like cheese, and um, one orange. So I could put like um, chia seeds or something in my yogurt, which is actually really good. So I'm actually gonna put that. And you guys, the reason I know this stuff is because I read through the foods list like a bazillion times. So please don't feel like she knows everything. Just go back and forth from the list. And so that takes care of my orange. So I do have half of a teaspoon left of my blue, um, which if you don't really know, you can go back to your foods list. Um, avocado, so I could have like um, a fourth of an avocado in my taco salad. That actually sounds really good. Um, you could have almonds and cashews, peanuts, pistachios, pecan, like those kinds of things. I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can throw in my, um, with my rice and vegetables. Okay, I don't see one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put like, for the cheese, I'll just use like a whole thing of cheese or I'll throw in like cheese and then just some like seeds or something. So I will use that up. Okay. All right, so um, now I've used all of my containers and that's one day, okay? Here's what I do. I only do a week at a time because it stresses me out when people do like an entire month. I'm like, girl, you have no idea where you're at. Um, so that being said, you can make it super simple for yourself if you want to. Every Monday you can have, every breakfast, sorry, you can have Shakeology, you can put in your spinach, and you can add in a fruit, a banana, you can add in um, strawberries, you can add in blueberries, you can add in raspberries, you can add in different things um, just to make it super easy. Or you can take out a snack and put it in for breakfast and put your Shakeology at a different time. Um, and honestly, like with yogurt, I buy five of them for the week. So I have five reds. I know I have five reds. Shakeology, I know I'll have, you know, five reds for Shakeology. Um, for my fruit, I always have like an apple and peanut butter or celery and peanut butter actually would be, you know, one of your greens if you wanted to. Um, but I always put in fruit into my Shakeology just because it's like fruit, spinach, Shakeology, like just getting me the best. So I do tend to have Shakeology for breakfast or I have it for lunch. I will be completely honest. Like that is what I have every single day. Um, I, sometimes I mix it up. I have breakfast or lunch, but, um, you know, having Shakeology every single day, even on the weekends is definitely a must. Okay. So when I'm going through this, what I would do is leave dinner open plan your breakfast, plan your lunch, plan your snacks. Um, it's probably easier for you to plan that if it's like you eating it. And then for supper, leave a red, a yellow, and a green, and then like plan your supper with your family, if that makes sense. So um, I do know on Thursdays, okay, so on Thursdays we have an English like muffin. So actually we do have a in English because we have it at school so um, I know that one already okay I'm just gonna like keep going through this so if you are watching the replay and you want to you can totally fast forward um, I just want to go through this just as if you would be too so again Canva is free if you want to pop in and copy it be my guest Okay, so um, I'm actually going to just take this and hit copy, and I'm going to drag it. Um, maybe I'll have it for lunch instead of breakfast. And then I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna drag it and have it for breakfast. And then copy and drag it and have it for lunch. And get rid of this, copy it, and for breakfast and then um on Saturdays if I don't have Shakeology right away in the morning I like tend to forget unless we are traveling somewhere um because like obviously it's super easy to bring with you um so I do know that Saturday we will be traveling so I'm actually going to put it down for actually Erin usually makes breakfast I'm gonna put it down for lunch because I think we're going to be traveling. Okay. And then copy, 
get this bad boy in. Usually I have it for a snack actually on some days. Okay, so um, let's do strawberry and let's switch this up to a banana. Let's cheat. We'll just do strawberry and then we'll do banana, strawberry, banana, strawberry. Perfect. Okay, so um, those are my red, green, and purples. So I have that done every single day. All right, so um, let's see. I always have, I pretty much always have pretty close to the same snacks just because I'm a teacher and they're so easy, you guys, like super easy to make um, and have. So um, I'm going to copy and paste all the way down and then I'm going to just make sure you guys know that I do buy like different flavors of yogurt. Um, and for my granola, I actually purchased, um, they are, I think it's called like Hidden Valley granola or something. Um, it's like a granola bar and I just crunch it up. Okay. So on Sunday, I got to make this a little bit smaller. So Shakeology is going to be one of my snacks. But then I'm also going to want to have um, apple nachos. And that, you guys, is the freaking bomb.com. So, what that is, um, is basically apples, and then you melt peanut butter, and then you put the peanut butter on the apples, and you just throw on a couple of dark chocolate chips. So, that would be a purple, a teaspoon, and the chocolate chips are life. <laughs> okay, so Saturday, I'm gonna be on the road. So, these snacks are not going to work very well. Actually, an apple and peanut butter would work good. And I'm actually gonna do celery. Those would work perfect. Because you can just dip it and you're in the car, ready to go. All right, Friday at school, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that stuff just because it's like school time and that's just the easiest thing for me. I know it's probably seems super boring for you, it's literally just what I do every single day. And whatever I pack is what I eat. So there's that. Okay. So I have my snacks done, breakfast or lunch done. So on this day, I need to plug in something for breakfast. And remember to leave, um, sorry, this is probably super annoying. It's just going to bug me if it's a different color. Just put egg muffin, McMuffin. Is that a thing? like that's like McDonald's. <laughs> that's okay. It's egg and sausage, by the way. So that would be um, probably just one red, just because of the fact that the egg um, isn't probably two eggs. Um, it's probably just one. And the sausage is obviously a red. You could say one and a half red if you wanted to. Okay, so Tuesday, I need breakfast. Um, okay, so I have Shakeology, spinach, and banana. So I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to track my red, yellow, blue again just to see what I have left over. So, um, Shakeology is a red, spinach is a green, banana is a purple. Done. Yogurt is a red, chia seeds are an orange, granola is a yellow, apple is a purple, peanut butter is a teaspoon. Okay, so I need to get in some greens. Ooh, I have the perfect thing. All right, I'm gonna do um, scrambled eggs, spinach, and half a bagel. Oh yeah, we get fucking carbs. Excuse my language. <laughs> you guys are probably like, Jesus, this lady's crazy. All right, so scrambled eggs, it's two eggs is one red, spinach is a green, and then half a bagel would be a yellow. So that would be red, yellow, and green. All right, so I'm done with my fruit for the day. I'm done with my carbs for the day. Um, so I need for supper, I have two greens, I have one red, and I have one blue and a couple of teaspoons, which I'll probably use those teaspoons for my um, apple and peanut butter and celery and peanut butter. Um, okay, so for supper, two greens, a red, and a blue. So that would be a good example of, um, you know, maybe doing like, um, what is that thing? So like, uh, 
having a brain fart. My gosh, summer squash. Summer squash, I think is what it's called. Spaghetti squash. Oh my gosh. So I count that as two. I count those as greens. Um, most people or some people would count them as yellows, but I do count them as greens. Um, so you could have two of those and then you could have like meatballs and then you could have like cheese on top, like mozz cheese. So I, that's what I'm going to put. So I'm going to put um, spaghetti squash meatballs and cheese. So basically, like the noodles, obviously, um, I don't want to say they're like bad for you, but um, obviously that would just like count those out. And then if you wanted to have like a slice of bread or something, instead of having a banana or a bagel in the morning, you take that off instead of having um, granola in your yogurt, maybe you take the granola off and then you have... Um, you know, your toast or um, bread or something like that for your supper. Um, okay, so then now we're down to the same things. All right, so let's do, um, I'm going to take off granola just so I have something extra to have. All right, so let's see, what can we have for lunch? Um, I actually like am obsessed with chicken. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, um, peppers. Or you could do sweet potatoes. So what I would do is just buy bulk of chicken and I put it in a crock pot and make it in there. And then you can like cut it up and stuff and you can have um, chicken and then you have like sweet potato and a thing and then peppers in a thing or peppers with like vegetables or something. So then you have all three of those in a container already. So it's super nice. So I have one, two, three red. So I need a red for supper. And then I've used one yellow. So I have a yellow for supper. So I have a red, red, yellow, and then two green. Red, yellow, two green. Um, let's see. Red, yellow, two green. I'm just trying to think here. Um, ooh, I like asparagus cooked. Maybe I could do like like steak like grilled with asparagus and peppers because that would be a red two green and a yellow um potato like half of a white potato steak and potatoes what <laughs> it's happening we're making it happen <laughs> okay And then if I have blues left over, I could just go ahead and do like um, chia seeds and um, almond slices. Like those little slivers of almonds. I don't know if that makes sense, but. Okay. Um, perfect. Okay, so Shakeology, chicken, yogurt, steak, all four reds, spinach, peppers, um, and then asparagus and more peppers for supper. Um, then I have strawberries and I have apples and then I have um, sweet potatoes and a potato. Perfect. Okay. And if you wanted to have bread or something else like besides a potato, totally go for it. I'm just spitballing here. Okay. Um, I would put, I'm just gonna put date night. Hopefully we go do something. So then when I go out, um, basically what I would do is eat as clean as I possibly can on Saturday um, and get in all of my greens and all that stuff. So when I go out to eat, I always get a salad. I drink a bunch of water. Um, if I have like an appetizer, I only have like two of the little things. I don't eat the whole thing um, or don't engorge myself into um, alcohol and stuff like that, if that makes sense. Okay, so this one we've used a yellow, so I'm gonna take the granola out because I probably won't need it after having carbs in the morning. Um, 
Okay, let's do a burrito bowl. Those are so good. Burrito bowl. Okay, so burrito bowl, what that is, um, is basically just getting um, your, uh, uh, what is it called? Like a tortilla. And then you have like your meat in it, you have cheese, you have spinach and all that stuff. Um, so burrito bowls would be, if you have, let's see, we'd have spinach, a green, ooh, we gotta change this up to, we just gotta make sure we add extra greens into our burrito bowl. All right, so I'm just gonna put ground beef, cheese, spinach mix, avocado, salsa, and make it super small so we can squeeze all this in here. Yeah. Okay. So that's what those are. All right. Then we have Friday. Friday would be spinach and that, yogurt, granola. Okay. Um, ooh, I love having like a big meal on Fridays. Okay, so for lunch, let's see, we've had taco salad, we've had chicken and rice stir fry, we've had spaghetti, we've had sweet potatoes or chicken, we've had steak, we've had burrito bowls. Um, then if you run out of ideas, I go to my friend, Matt Pint. Okay, and then I'm going to type in 21 day meals. Ooh, crock pot. I totally forgot about those. Okay, so Swedish meatballs. Those look really good. See, shrimp taco bowls. Those look phenomenal. But instead of shrimp, I would totally do chicken because I'm just such a chicken person. Awful. I'm just trying to find something different. Oh, pizza. Duh. We do flat outs. They're called flat outs, like actually. Flat out pizza night. We do that all the time. Why didn't I even think about that? I don't know. I'm going to do that for supper though um, because I don't have an oven. So tortilla, it's basically a flat out is what it's called. Um, cheese, sauce, toppings, which is your meat. Okay. Okay. And then, so that's a yellow. So I have a carb to eat up. And then I have half a sandwich. So basically you take bread and you just cut it in half. So then I would have turkey, cheese, spinach, and I have a little bit of mayo live on the wild side. <laughs> of course that's not small enough. There we go. Okay. So tortilla is a yellow. My sandwich bread would be a yellow, red, 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 red. Okay. Good. All right. I promise I'm almost done, you guys. I'm so sorry. It's so boring. Um, I always have eggs and spinach and toast on, um, on the weekends just because it's like a freaking bomb.com and it's really good with peanut butter and jelly. Like I'm not even kidding you. It's so good. Okay. And then I have spinach and I have my apple nachos. So I have my two fruits, greens, greens, reds, toast. So I need to get in. Maybe I'll have, I'm trying to think what I would want for like a lunch. Aaron usually makes lunch. <laughs> um, let's just go with, ooh, I didn't even think about pancakes. I love food, you guys, like for real. Maybe we'll have protein pancakes for supper. I guess you probably don't want to have eggs twice, do you? 
Okay, so we're gonna have protein pancakes and I gotta figure out what else we're gonna have with those. I could change my breakfast up. Um, let's see, Shakeology, nachos, apple nachos, eggs and spinach with toast, protein pancakes. I'm trying to think of something like for lunch, just kind of like a quick lunch idea. Ooh, chicken fried rice, it's so good. Okay, that's a great idea. So it's just like a mixture of vegetables, eggs, and chicken. So it's really good. Aaron made it before. Okay. So then I have eggs, then I would have chicken, and then I would have Shakeology, and then protein pancakes, and then I would have toast in my protein pancakes, and then I would have Shakeology. I mean, um, apple, strawberry. Okay. I think that's it. I guess I'm just having pancakes for supper because I can't think of anything else better to have. Um, what do you have with pancakes? I don't know, sausage? And is that like a breakfast thing? I don't really eat breakfast, you guys. Okay, perfect. There is my weekly meal plan. And I'm going to save it and I will download it and I will give that to you guys. So, um, that you guys is how I would plan a week. So first of all, obviously figure out what plan you are, then figure out, um, what you want for the week. I always do breakfast, um, snacks and lunch, and then I leave supper for the last part. Um, so my challenge to you is to craft your meal plan for the week, whether you write it out on paper, whether you, um, open it up on Canva, whatever it is that you're going to do with it. And then um, I'm going to have us posting them so we can share them together. So like know what plan you are, know what workout program you're doing, and then let's go ahead and share that with everybody. Um, so then that way we have lots of different ideas. Um, and then I hope that helps a lot for you guys. So um, I think that's all I have for nutrition part of it, but that's literally how simple it is, you guys. So hopefully that helps. So.